guys, it's Joy here, and today I'm going to be doing a requested video, which is binder organization and how I'm going to be keeping my binders organized this year. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need if you're going to organize your binders is obviously a binder. Now, these are the just one inch white binders, and every year I always customize my binders. So this is for Honors Biology, and this one is for Honors English. And this one has studs, and then the Biology one has a little floral. And if you guys want to know how I made these, you can request a video in the comments below so I know that you guys want to see it. So with the binder organization, I think that it's necessary that you keep a college-ruled notebook and I color code mine obviously so purple cover purple notebook and just to keep your notes separate and I think it keeps me more organized having a separate one for each subject then I just keep my class notes in here and then in the binder I can keep my handouts my other worksheets and stuff so I think that it's important to have a college rule notebook for in your binder. Something I also think you guys will need are some dividers. Now I got three packs for this year and in my back to school haul video I said I wasn't going to buy any but I still did because I wanted some fresh ones and I didn't have enough for all my classes. So these are just the erasable kind and even though they're made so you can reuse them, they really get kind of not reusable by the end of the year because they're just a piece of paper with some reinforcement. So if your teachers don't give you what to put on your divider tabs, I recommend that you do one for classwork, homework, your notes if you don't use a um, separate notebook. Um, and then you can decide what to use for those. You can do just loose paper. You can do tests and quizzes. You can do one for just your important permanent papers like a syllabus or anything like that. The next thing that you're going to need if you have binders is loose leaf paper. And you're always going to need this. It doesn't matter if you keep notebooks or anything because you're always going to do like warm-ups in class or you're going to want to pass a note <laughs> or you just need paper and these are good for every single grade every single year and I get the college ruled and this is just the 150 Norcom pack so definitely invest in some loose leaf paper plus it is super cheap okay and I also recommend that if you guys have these binders that do not include folder pockets on the inside, which is kind of a downgrade, but I had to get this binder because look at this print. Look at that print. It's so cute. So since I don't have pockets in this, I'm going to be using a divider that has a pocket in it for my pocket, or you guys can use folders because these come with the punch in so you'll have your two pockets that you missed with your binder. Another thing that is not necessary but is good to have are some clear plastic page protectors. In seventh grade the teachers made us get a bunch of packs of these and we had to put every single paper in our binder in these and then we had binder checks. So I kind of strayed away from doing that technique because it kept you organized, but it really wasn't necessary. So what I use my plastic page protectors for are just keeping my class syllabus in or turning in important papers, or you can just buy the um, project plastic covers, but these work just as fine. Plus, all you need is really one pack, and that will get you through. Plus, they last a long time. I've had these since seventh grade, like I said before. So once you buy the one, you're done. So those are all the tips that I have for keeping your binder organized. 
and I hope these found these helpful and really if you want to see how I made those binders please leave the comment below and I will definitely make a DIY tutorial on that so thanks for watching and please subscribe and help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers which is my new goal for my birthday and you guys keep subscribing which is really amazing and I can't wait to keep making videos and keep showing you guys all the stuff I love so thanks for the nice comments and the subscriptions so that's all I have to say so bye